three, two, one. What's up, everybody? Oh, sorry. Ready? I like that one. I like. Can we keep that, babe? Yeah. I bet. <laughs> what was that noise from, though? By the way. Doom, doom, doom. That was in um a Cinderella story, the movie where they um what do they do? Where they do like the morning announcements, and that's how they do like get everybody's attention. I think. Like the Hillary Duff one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Well, welcome back, every. Can I start? Yeah, good. Okay, welcome back, everybody, to episode two of the J-O-E, where we are not the T-E-A, but we are the J-O-E. And normally we like to ask, what type of tea are you sipping? You know, green tea or lemon ginger? But we're going to ask you what kind of gel, what you're putting in your gel. Is it a little hazelnut creamer? Is it a little vanilla? Things like that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, babe. I'm, I'm so uh, happy <laughs> that we are seeing your true colors. Uh, you know. Mm -hmm. You've been seeing my true colors. No, 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 no. I'm happy that they are now. You don't think they have? No, yeah, yeah. I think I'm, they have. I come in I'm various like, shapes I'm, and I'm, sizes and angles. I'm different depending on the day or or the occasion or what we're doing, you know? Yeah. Well, I'm happy that you're comfortable. How about that? Okay. I yeah. like that. Thank I you. I like that. I like that very mm -hmm. much, and it makes me happy. I'm so happy that we're doing this channel. Yeah, me too. All I'm right. so happy that we're doing it. Yeah. Getting comfortable, getting used to it, adjusting and loving it. Mm -hmm every step of the way facts yes what do we have episode two of the joe episode two of the joe what are you trying to get into today well, i just want to ask you because you know christmas time is coming around oh yeah like and we've been asking her i can't wait for my guests yeah, sorry I, I did i did really good with your guests this year and yeah it's, it's i think perfect. i did better with his i'm not gonna lie i already got two of them I got two of yours, too. I ha I was going to get three, but something happened with the third. I mean, I'm going to... So you haven't resolved that? No, I haven't resolved that. You don't need to worry about it. It's not Christmas yet. I got time. Yeah, We're a, ahead. There is a third gift that I'm thinking about getting you. But you need to... Uh, I'm thinking of getting him, like, four or five. No, I'm like, like, a, oh. main, like a main gift. <laughs> okay. Not like a small... This should be in your stocking gift. Like I'm not gift. getting you any of those. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Shit. Shoot the heck. Um, but I, I do. Um, I am wondering, like, cause I forgot to put this on my wish list. Mm -hmm. Can you buy me a PlayStation Five? I don't even. Are you serious? Yeah. You don't want no PlayStation Five. I do. What is what is the hype with this PS Five? I'm curious. Like, what is? It's like the new hype thing to have, and also like, it's like. If you want to play video games and mm -hmm. you want it to look the best, mm -hmm. you kind of want to play on the PS5. And there's some dope vi like some dope video games coming out. Mm -hmm. And I know, to be honest, like now that I'm thinking about it a little, a little more, maybe I want to rescind that ask. Why? Because... You don't really play video games? Yeah. Like, I, I'd, like, I'd like you to spend that money on getting me something else. So <laughs> why did you ask in the first place? Where was your head at? I, it was more so like... The hype. The hype, yeah, mm. it was more so the hype and also, like, the RTTV house has got one. And I know Jerry plays it a lot. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, if he's playing it, I might want to play something. Yeah. But, but I know that I, I'm definitely not going to have the time to play it. So, yeah. you know what? Let's scratch that off. He has an Xbox, doesn't play it. Yeah. Right? No, I, don't, yeah, it. I don't play it. I don't play it. I'm just thinking, like, wow, the PS5. I just remember when it was the PS2. When the PS2 had all the hype. Did you play any of those games? Of course. I was a PS1 member, okay? I played me some <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> I played that Spyro, Rayman. I played a couple games on the PS1. PS2, um, and when I had the PS1, I shared a room with my brother. So off, I'm sure I, I was playing off the strength of him. Mm -hmm. Granted, I loved it. It became a us thing. But then PS2 came out. He got that. I didn't really dive much into the PS2. That was when he was into like Madden and all that. And it just was like not my jam. But I did hold on to the PS1 and I did still play Crash Bandicoot and beat it multiple times. Yeah, so she claims that she's the queen of Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. So one the day princess. I really want to get on like, I want to make a video with you guys on this channel and really just take turns with Taylor playing Crash Bandicoot and Spyro mm -hmm. just to see who would live the longest life, you know? Me. No, I think, I really think I would beat you because I know I'm just 100%, I'm 100, 
a hundred times better than you in video games. But not in Crash Bandicoot, and I think you know that no, as well. Remember when you were playing Crash Bandicoot a few months ago, and you really needed to uh, like beat this like boss and a level. Guess who stepped in and beat it for? That's because you know when you play something so much and it's just like, gosh, like I can't even All do this these anymore. Excuses like, give me my uh, prop. Not even. It was one thing, okay, and I didn't need you to. You just wanted to. We were taking turns, and it just happened to be your turn. Let's get the and whole story you, correct. Guy, Let's get the whole story correct. It was his turn, turn, and he just beat it on his turn. Okay. Like what? Good it's, for you. No, no. It's Is this really, what you want? It's really good for me, actually. But oh, guess who? Yeah. Guess who got him to that point? Guess. That's who got yeah, him that's that far. Because I got the game so that you can play. Because exactly. I, I actually enjoy watching you play video games. It's kind of fun to watch. <laughs> so Why like, is it I so w- fun? Why do you think it's fun? Because it's like, I know I, I don't know. I just it's a, it's like a little kid playing a video game that he really like enjoys. Me? Yeah. So it's kind of <laughs> oh like, like that's kind of cute to watch you play something. Maybe that like, because I know those games probably like bring you back to a point yeah. in your life that's like they do that you can't get back type shit. So. Yeah, but I it's all I just really like it. It's a really good game. Bundiga. Bundiga. What do you guys think? I think it's Bundiga and he thinks it's Ubuga. I think it's Bubuga. No no it's Bubuga. That's how that's what I think. I think it's Bundiga. I'm pretty sure it's Bubuga. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so would you have gotten me a PS five if I asked for it? If you really asked for it, probably yeah. I wish you would have asked for it when it came out rather than now because nobody wants to buy it on resale. Yeah. 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 But I would have had a fighting chance. So I'm glad you don't really want one anyway. To be honest, I don't think you would have had a fighting chance anyway. Because we <gasps> tried no all faith in me. different websites, this and that. And it was all so You needed out. a woman's touch. It was a bunch of guys trying to get it. You know, head's not in the right place. I don't know what that <laughs> means. <laughs> I really don't know what that means. She did it get me the Xbox One, though. I did get him the and Xbox she got One. Me, like the day one edition back yep. when it came out, so... It was like the Xbox One. You see what I do? Before we were rudely interrupted, babe. Go ahead. I actually got that in the mall. Like, I, it was so much easier back then. Now it's ridiculous. But I got that in the mall. Um, I don't remember where in the mall, but in the mall, I got the Xbox One. And he was like, this is the last day one edition. I said, okay, I'll get you this day one edition then. <laughs> yeah, I was happy you got me that shit because yeah. that, that, that Xbox now, there's certain things in my life I feel like um, didn't make sense at the time that ended up making so much sense now. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember when, like, I wanted the Xbox One, right? Because I love playing video games at the yeah. time. Yep. We were, like, fresh out of college. Or we were still in college, right? I don't know. Honestly, I don't remember. Either way, when I was in college, I was playing, like, a lot of Call of Duty. And it was one point where, like... I was playing a lot of games. Yeah. So when she got me the Xbox, I was in this transitional space where, like, I'm trying to get a job. I'm finishing school. And I felt like playing video games was, like, halting my success. Like, I was like, yo, I'm going home. I'm playing video games. Yeah. You I'm were not, OD at a point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not really getting to the back. You know, I'm not really trying. I'm not really pursuing. You were younger, too, though. Yeah. But that's how I used to think. But yeah. then, like, I felt like when we started RTTV and stuff, like... I feel like all the stuff that I used to do, like playing video games, I used to watch a lot of TV. So, like, back then, that's when I watched Attack on Titan for the first time. That's when I watched um, Breaking Bad. That's when I watched Game of Thrones. And a lot of the shows that we ended up reacting to, mm-hmm. I would, the time that I thought I was wasting back then was actually, like, the, the, the knowledge I needed to move on to what I was doing. Like, mm-hmm. the dots ended up connecting when I actually look back on my life and be like, okay, so that's why I needed the Xbox. The Xbox is where I watched all this, where I played all these video games. Um, the Xbox is where I record these uh, these episodes that I need for my reaction. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yep. I made so much use of that gift. It's probably the most important gift that I ever got in my whole entire life. And I'm not even, like, exaggerating. I really, really, really feel like that was it. So thank you, Aww, babe. You're welcome. I'm so happy I could provide that for you. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of that, I actually want to kind of address the fact that you have to wait in line or fight to get like things like an Xbox. We have to like, I don't like that. I feel like, I mean, I get it. It's just what it is. But I just remember when it was a little easier when it wasn't like, look, everything is everybody's just buying it to resell it. And that's like kind of stinky. I get it. Good for I. I get it. It's yeah, a hustle, it's, but 
damage things. Nah, it, it <laughs> does suck, but I understand, like, especially, like, amongst, like, the the world that we live in now where, mm-hmm. like, a lot of people are work and all that stuff. So I feel like a lot of people got to get the money any way they yeah. know how. So they would sign I up, feel it. buy an Xbox to try to make double, triple the money on yeah. it. Because I've seen people try to sell the PS5 for $2,000, $1,700. Damn. And it only costs 500 So I know, like, if I can get my hand on it, I would have definitely been trying to do that. Yeah, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Try to make their money. But it, it, it does suck for the people that definitely want to play the system and yeah. like make content with it or just play with their friends. Cause yeah, it stings. Yeah, it does suck. But, hey, you got to get it how you know how. I guess so. Mm-hmm. That's where we're at. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was the well, now we was talking about gifts because I actually don't know. Yeah, know this because I said like I, out of all of the gifts that you ever got me, I think the Xbox One or whatever mm-hmm. is like the f- my most favorite gift because mm-hmm. uh, I still use it to this day. So like, what do you think is your favorite gift that I ever got you? Like, it could be like a birthday gift or it could be like a Christmas gift or any I have kind to of dive gift. deep in my mind for that one. I don't know. I have no idea. I love my purses because I can use them forever, and I always do. Mm-hmm. I loved my Rihanna tickets. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that was That was, fun like, too. a great time. We have a thing where we, like, well, we used to when it was available, but going to concerts together. Yeah. We, like, love to go to concerts together. That was our thing. Man. Yeah. And he brought me tickets um, for a Rihanna concert, and it was for the... It was loud. No, not loud. No, no. It was unapologetic. The unapologetic tour, which was amazing. I remember planning my whole outfit out for like weeks in advance. So crazy. You look like such a fangirl. It was funny. (laughs) Did I? Yeah. It was cute. Damn, a fangirl though? Yeah. Did I have a shirt on? Yeah, you had a shirt on. Oh, yeah. yeah, That's Like it looked like some tour merch shirt and you had like these jeans, some ripped jean shorts and like I think you had like these. Leggings or like underneath socks and had like zigzags or something on them. Yeah. Very like. And then I had little boots. Yeah, Yeah, I was. I do remember that. That's funny. I like that. I like the outfit. Yeah. It was a good time. But I think that might be one of my favorites. Uh, I got to think back on everything you've given me, but that's. That was an amazing gift. And that was our first Christmas together. Right? Yeah. That was like one of the things you got me for our first Christmas. I got you the purse. No, you didn't. For first Christmas? That wasn't first No, that was second. First Christmas, you got me the tickets. Some type of like lingerie you got me. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) And there was something else. I can't remember the last thing, but yeah. And and that's when I got you the, uh, I made this huge collage that wasn't that that was the next year that was the year with the other with the purse and the boots and the collage so i got you there was something else i think it was small i don't remember i don't think we're gonna remember i feel like i've tried we've tried to remember before and we just could not remember is that the year that you got me my coat and sneakers Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. that was that year yeah or a sweater yeah it was i got you a bunch of stuff that year yeah 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 Nice, mm-hmm. nice, yeah. right? Yeah, I like I like the I like our Christmas. Christmas, I like the fact that um we just like to get each other nice things. Yeah, you know I like saying? that like, too. I really, I really, and we really like to Christmas. put effort, like a lot of effort, into what we get each other. Yeah, we definitely do. Like, um, I feel like growing up, like Christmas is becoming whack. And then you came to my life, man. And spice it up a little bit. Yeah, spice it up. So yeah, I'm like one of those people at Christmas time. We have the whole Christmas tree. I'm like, I still got a list for my parents. (laughs) Not a real list, but you know, she no, she Uh, definitely has a real list. I'm like, but it's not like I get my my mom um, is like all about it. She loves to get me like a bunch of like cute little things and make it seem like. A, like a child Christmas, obviously yeah. with adult gifts, but my father is just like jewelry and money or something like that. But we just like to make it feel like how we did when we were younger, I guess. Yeah, like your list, you you be like, should I um should I like get show these to my mom and for Christmas? Like I think <laughs> I'm gonna ask her to get these for Christmas. <laughs> I don't even talk like that. Yes, you do. I guess I do. <laughs> <laughs> whatever yeah you said it just like me just Nuh-uh. like this. yeah i'm like should i like ask my mom babe you think you think i should ask my mom i think i'm gonna tell my dad about this one <laughs> 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 
whatever. You think you know me. <gasps> I do know you. You better know I me. Know it's been do. how many years? It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Speaking of that. <laughs> a lot of years went into it. Yeah. We went through some long distance years. Yeah, which was. Which means if you could do that, you could do anything. Yeah, that, yeah. let's talk about that. Cause let's talk about it. I feel like, um, and we kind of touched on it on the, on the first Cup of Joe episode. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't think a lot of people knew that we did long distance for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, so we were, like, well, well, we were like together for how many years before we went long distance? And then. We were, oh, sorry. Before we were together. I think it was like. Four years. Almost four years. Almost. Before when you moved? Yeah. Oh, wow. Why? Damn, we've been together for a grit. I know, for too long. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, going, I, so I, I don't think I ever asked you this question. I like going into that step on our lives. Like, mm-hmm. you were moving to California. I was obviously staying in Rhode Island. Yep. Like, and we were going to, at first, we wasn't going to attempt the long distance thing. Right. Um, but we ended up doing it. Yeah. Like, what was your belief in long distance? Did you think it worked? Do you think it was like some bullshit? Like, wh- what do you think? Actually, I didn't really have much of a thought about it. I wasn't like, oh, I'm moving, so this isn't going to work. It was more of just like the space in my life that I was in that I was just like, mm, like right now I need to do me like, you know, and then through time we figured like, you know, you give each other some space. You figure out like, oh, you know. I want to try to make it work. Yeah. So that's where it was for me. I wasn't really, I didn't think it was anything bad doing long distance. I wasn't against doing long distance. I'm just for making it work if you can. Like we thankfully had the uh, the means or the time and the ability to like travel to see each other back and forth quite often. Mm-hmm. And that's what like really helped us and saved us, of course, through the long distance. When we got to that point, of yeah. course. But, yeah, it was nothing, like, I wasn't not for it. I was just more for, like, whatever I felt at the time. Like So you, you, didn't, you didn't have, a, like, a real belief on, like, whether or not long-distance relationship worked? No, not really. I think I just, I think I thought it could work more than any, more than thinking it couldn't work. Mm-hmm. I know it's going to be a hassle, but I felt like it was going to work. If it was, if it wanted to work, it was going to work. Yeah. We have to want it to work yeah. to make it nah, work. And 100%. we did. I felt like we did when it came to that point. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it took, that was like, I think maybe when I first moved, we had like lost a little bit of hope, maybe yeah. not completely just like, just in where we were at, at that time in general. And then a few months later, he like came and visited me and things kind of like fell back. turned around yeah. for the better and put us in a better place yeah and then we we wanted we knew we wanted and we just worked for it Mm -hmm. and we didn't know what the outcome was going to be as far as like where or when we were finally going to be like living together again or like in the same state you know we didn't know if i was going back if he was coming here or if we were going somewhere else like that was like i think the biggest worry is like what's the next step for us to be like where is this gonna be headed yeah like are we going to be able to live together or live in the same state like is this what you were gonna want i didn't want to make him move here for me but i didn't want to have to move back for him yeah so it was like when is that gonna and that that was challenging because before like i knew you always wanted to move to la i knew you yeah. told me you've told me that yeah but it, it never became real until you actually made a decision like, I'm going to go. I was like, I'm going. You know on I'm this date, I'm out. Yeah. So, I, to be honest, before that, like, I didn't think we were going to do long distance. But I never, like, truly believed that long distance relationship worked. No. No, I didn't. Like, I thought it was like a, a myth. You know, I thought yeah. it was like. I was like, like how? A, yeah, exactly. I was just like, there's no way, like, I'm across the country. Like, how am I, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how am I supposed to love you from that far? How am I supposed to, like, it how am I supposed to trust you? This and that. A lot of things yeah. that that come into play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So like, course. I ne- I never really thought like it worked. Mm-hmm. But like when the opportunity, or not even op- I can't even say opportunity. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I couldn't wait for her to move. <laughs> <laughs> when um that decision was made, like I knew that I wanted to be with you. So like like you said, like I kind of had to make it work. I remember yeah. like thinking so hard, like yo, how am I going? to make this work and i wanted to believe so bad that it could work you know what i'm saying like so like i would i 
like if I had any doubts on like this is gonna work, I would like switch it up like in my head real quick. Like it has to work. Like, yeah. Because this, this is the girl I want to be with. So, like I do remember like, I the first you was out here, I had made a plan that January something like that. February was it? It was. I remember like you spent yeah. the whole year here, right? Yeah. And I was like, okay, I'm moving January. Yeah. And then like January came and went. It was like, I, there's no way I could move. Yeah. Out there. I was like. Even though like, I got planned for a whole year, like, did I really plan? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. was I really ready to move by myself to well, California? Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you had your roommate that you, uh, were you ready to move in with me? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, we were young, very young at the time. So, mm -hmm. like, w there was this step. Like, I was going to come out here. <laughs> I really didn't have shit planned. That's No, funny. and I'm so happy because I remember I was talking about it, I'm like, I'm not, I wasn't even really ready for him to move out here, but also I knew, well, to live with him, I should say, if you want to move out here, whatever, but to live with him, I'm like, I knew I wasn't ready for that. And I wasn't ready to kind of just like, well, for him, I knew he didn't know what he, and he didn't like the situation he was in with his like job. Mm -hmm. And he was thinking of transferring like to his job, to that job, to out here from there to here. And I knew that's not what he really liked. Nah, and that yes, wasn't what it was. I yes, so. You said that you were thinking if if you could transfer. Nah, because they didn't have the Santander Bank. Oh, you're right. Well, but then now, you would work at a bank, though, at a different bank. Yeah, I was like, maybe I could That's do a what bank. It was. And I also thought, because, like, at the time, like, I knew being an Uber driver. And remember I said yeah. oh, being an Uber driver and a Lyft driver was, um, it was good money, especially for, like, a state like California or yeah. Los Angeles. So maybe I have a new car, right, or a newer car. I could probably use that for Lyft. And Uber and make a decent amount of money mm -hmm. starting off living in California until I get on my feet. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Like, if I do move in with Taylor, I'll be an Uber driver. <laughs> I yeah. remember telling my family that, like, yeah, I think I'm gonna drive Uber for a little bit and get my, you know, while I get my out. get on my feet. Because everybody kept asking me, like, damn, what, so you gonna move out there? Like, you yeah. gonna move out there? So. But I was, was against it. No, you were definitely in against it. I was like, it, I don't think you need to come out here and like be unhappy. Yeah, or like because I would have blamed be alone. Yeah, I would have blamed everything on you. I know. And it, I'm so happy I that you didn't. Yeah, because honestly, it would have been, um, it would have been real hard for me. And yeah. like, it's only natural that I would blame you. Because at my first, at first, my thing was like, I want to move out here, but it can't just be about a girl. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No mm -hmm. matter like, I know like you're my girl, whatever. I love you. I do want to marry you. This and that. But it, that can't be the sole reason that yeah, I'm here. No. You know what I'm saying? You have so. to figure something out. You have to figure out your own way. Exactly. Like, this is what I want to do. It's not what you originally wanted to do. Mm -hmm. It became that, thankfully, because of your situation. Yeah. And what you guys started with Roundtable. But mm -hmm. imagine you came, you wouldn't have even really had Roundtable. Yeah. Or you may, I don't know what might have happened in between, but. And that's kind of scary. Mm -hmm. That is very scary. It was meant to be for you to stay in Rhode Island. And I'm so happy you did. And, you know, we talked through a lot of things, hence why you didn't come out when you originally thought you were gonna. Mm -hmm. But it was a nice thought, but we both weren't ready as much as we might have thought we were. But that, that time that and that time that we had separated from each other, mm -hmm. that time was super important because that allowed for us to plan for our futures individually. Yeah. yeah. So like, and we needed that because mm -hmm. we've been around each other so much since like end of high school yeah mainly college but it's mm -hmm. like we were really already so young doing it that and we were still so young when we were having when we were separated from each other so it gave us more time to figure out ourselves individually rather than together mm -hmm. so the answer to the question do long distance relationship work would be yeah yeah because we're a product of it exactly granted though it might not be everyone's like goal i mean not goal but like it might not be okay for everyone and some people might not feel like it's okay for their own personal reasons whatever but if you really feel like it's something worth giving a shot because it's like inevitable then i think you, it's go for it try it out before you just say no no it's not gonna work because yeah, it I can would, work yeah, exactly i would definitely try it out see make the best of it make it a goal to like if it's very serious between the two people then I feel like make it a go that one day you guys end up in the same place. Yeah. And then it, it may take some time longer than you think because, mm -hmm. you know, it took us two years mm -hmm. to finally get in the same place. Um, I feel like that's the step to making it work. Yeah. Plan 
that one day you guys end up in the same place and yeah. actually work at that every yeah. day. And make right. sure you see each other in between. Don't just like yeah, that's dismiss important. each other or dismiss the relationship. You have to see each other to like just be reminded of your love sometimes because it's easy to, you know, the absence makes the heart grow fonder kind of thing. But Ooh, talk your mm-hmm. shit, baby. It's easy to dismiss something from your mind, but yeah, you definitely have to like be in each other's presence as much as you can to like really like remember the feeling mm-hmm. like this is where I, who I need to be with or where yeah, I want to be. And like because that that first time I came to California, that was yeah. like. It was like, oh, yeah, because we had never been apart for that many months at a time already. Never mind the situation we were in. It was just like mm-hmm. it just was. a. I mean, it was an experience. I'll tell you that much. And it's part of being in a, in a relationship. You go yeah. through it, you grow through it and you get through it. And we did. Oh, is that like the triple G? Yeah. Do you go through it? No, no. Do you go through it? Would you say you go, go through, through it? it? You grow through it and you get through it. Woo! Oh damn! Where you learn that one at? I just that made that actually, one up right now. That was actually a really good one. I'm I not know. gonna lie. It was good. That's, that's the T E A. That is the T E A for you. We are sipping this J O E, and it is piping hot. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> the Joe is hot. Damn. Mm-hmm. It's fresh out the what are those coffee things called? We're getting the, the Joe for you. Fresh out the. Fresh out the coffee maker. Fresh out the pot. The <laughs> coffee pot. Fresh yeah, out the fresh pot. Fresh out the coffee you maker. You're this heard. joke. Well, yeah. That was a good conversation. Yeah, though. that was a nice conversation. I hope this helped anybody. Mm-hmm. If anybody's going through it. And if not, I hope it was just kind of cool to hear. Yeah, entertaining <laughs> to hear. Yeah. And I'm not trying to impose on your yeah, relationship or anything. Not. I'm just telling you how we went through yeah, it. Yeah, this is just our story. Everybody yeah. has their own, of course. Exactly. But I'm glad that we can give you this joke. Stay tuned because we'll have more coming. Episode three next. Episode three next. I'm down. Yeah. I'm down to hear like what you guys would love to hear us talk about. Yeah. Maybe like address some things in our relationship. Kind of see what we went through. Blah blah. blah. It doesn't yeah. even have to be about relationship stuff either, though. Well, I I know you guys like to hear about us. How yeah. About so yeah. Like, even if I had to tie in like what we went through to kind of get through a situation like that, I'm yeah. down to hear what you guys um have to recommend to us. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down to hear about that, too. Just mm-hmm. let us know. It could be about anything. It could be about, you know, what I just ate for dessert. I think I think the I people want to see how you stay s- so in shape, babe. Ooh, do you want to see that? Yeah, I think no. I think you need to show them like a good workout video or mm. something like that. You know, I have thoughts girl about like that. like a workout queen. Like, she's so fit. She works out every freaking day. Like almost. If you can just teach them, like, because I feel like your routine and working out is so sh- it's not like it's so short and yeah. concise that I feel like it's very, um, it's really something that somebody can copy and add mm-hmm. to their everyday. Yeah. Thing. So I feel I'm like a super routine person though. Yeah, like it's routine. I'm a habit. I'm a creature of habit. That's for sure. And routine. I like to be in my routine. I like to be in my groove. And if I don't, I feel like, Ugh. but I'm also super like in tune with my body. Like, what does that mean? What does that mean? Like, I'm very, um, I don't know if it's more like physically or psychologically, but I know I'm like, Ugh. like if I don't work out one day or the next day, I'm like, Ugh. I feel like, blah. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to explain. I, got, I get what you're saying. But if I you want, you if you want some motivation, it's something I could work on. And so that's I what, yeah. You. I definitely think you should make a video, something that they can see what your routine is like, mm-hmm. and maybe incorporate it into their life. Yeah. Um. But it's not super intense or anything. I'm not super like, I'm not like trying to be a bodybuilder or anything. So it's more like just to keep myself healthy and toned up. Yeah. You know. I'd love to see that. I would love to show you. All right. Well, okay. that means she's working on it. We got her <laughs> signed on the contract. Shake. On the, we got a deal here. Oh, yes. Lordy. All right. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> but yeah, just let us know anything else. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you guys for watching this pipe and hot j- 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 Joe. Uh, yeah. And give him the give him the um the slogan. All right. You have been here. You just. Got your J-O-E. It's just similar to the T-E-A, but it's the Joe. What? That's Did not I say the that slogan. Right? She said similar to the what? I thought it was, uh, but this is. And this is your T-E-A, but it's the J-O-E. And you just watched. 
And we just burned your tongue. Taste cup of Joe. Yes. Cup of Joe. Cup of Joe. The Joe. The Joe. Episode two, and that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Cup. Peace. Peace.